there's one project I'm working on and is focused on uh, creating this intelligent workstation. And, uh, and this is a desk that ha this is highly censored. Uh, we have it in the lab and I can show it to you if you want. Um, and it senses uh, all kinds of uh, variables in space, including temperature, lighting, occupancy. Uh, we have thermal cameras that would basically sense uh, your skin temperature. Uh, we have variable devices that the uh, users of that desk use. But the idea is not just sensing, okay? The idea is taking that information and making sense out of that uh, data, which is related to your preferences. Because we know that uh, it's not like one size fits all kind of situation here. Some people prefer milder temperatures, some people prefer cooler temperatures. And, uh, and this depends on our gender, it depends on our health, uh, metabolism, it depends on our cultural background. So there are various reasons why we prefer one temperature over another. And it's usually a range as well. So, uh, so Americans have a very narrow range of comfort. Asians have a much wider band of comfort. And and we learn through research that the wider the range is, the better it is for your health. So again, coming back to this intelligent desk, this desk senses the environment as well as your, you, uh, physiologically as well as psychologically, and models your preferences. And the idea is not only to provide comfortable environments that you feel uh, satisfied, but if that range is not optimal or not good for you, negotiate with you to change your preferences towards healthier conditions. Uh, so that's where the difference that I want to make, uh, something that we prefer might not be necessarily good for us. And if we have that level of intelligence in a building or in a space, how, can, how a building can work with you to take you to a healthier or more productive or eventually a happier condition um, is of my interest. And it's a very interesting uh, research question in my opinion because now we're talking about something like a desk which is a very mundane office object uh, working with a human being <laughs> to change uh, the person's preferences. Um, and it's a negotiation, of course, right? And in some cases, it could be because of a health objective or it could be related to an energy objective, right? Uh, so depending on the building's objective as well as the person's objectives. Uh, but that negotiation and that conversation between a thing and a person is uh, very interesting from my point of view.